Hello YouTube, it's time for a video again. Well today, today's video is a carry on from the last video I did. About uh, moving Rufus, the red doe boy, Rufus the wolf, to, uh, to his new tank and the uh, Haitiensis, Stan Elder. Well this video is a bit drawn out, he's looking up there for his food isn't he? This video is a bit drawn out so I better keep this intro uh, quick because... Uh, yeah, because it's going to be too long. Anyway, uh, let's get on it. Right, today's the day of the big move. This is uh, the Red Wolf Rufus. Red Wolf Ru Rufus. Right, my first plan is to uh, absolutely take every single thing out of this aquarium. All, all the bog wood, all the substrate, all these pebbles, everything out. Strip it right down because it's, I'm exchanging it. It's all going in the uh, his new, new tank. So this, the scape will be very, very similar. So let's have a look at his new tank. Right, this is where Rufus is going to finish up. A 220 gallon tank, six and a half feet long. And I've got to remove, I've got to uh, put the Haitiensis in Rufus's tank. So all these large uh, pebbles, rocks or whatever you want to call them, and all this uh, black and white substrate, sandy grit, and all these little baby fry, so I've got to clear this tank out. So I think this will do Rufus a lot better than what the, the tank, tank is in. It's, it's got a lot more space, a lot more gallonage, and it's got a, a lot better filter. I'll, I'll show you the filter. We'll just, take, we'll just take a quick peep at the filter. So it's, uh, it's about, it's over four foot, it's a four foot sump. We've got all plastic bio balls in there, and then we've got bags of, uh, that, God that's filthy once cleaning, we've got bags of uh, alpha grog in there and then we'll move along. We've got another ch another chamber with uh, the bio balls in and then we've got the uh, pump chamber and there's a couple of heaters in there but I, I don't use the heaters. Yeah so there we have it, anyway sure go on about this, Let, let's have a look at uh, all the equipment I've got out ready. Right this is very unlike me. I've, I've got quite organised this morning. I've got everything out ready. Because what normally happens with me, I normally get halfway through a job and then I said, oh, I need this and I need that and I'm running about like a headless chicken. So I thought, right, I'm going to video this so I don't want to make myself look a twit, do I? So I'll try to get everything out on hand, what I'm thinking I'm going to need. I've got a big pile of towels there. If you're a fish keeper, you can never have enough towels. I've got my hoses for filling up. I have a red hose for putting a little bit of warm water in. I have a blue hose for cold water. This is me, uh, what I use for emptying the tanks quickly, my siphoning hose. We have a couple of air pumps there, just in case I have to put air stones in the poly boxes. Couple of nets, we've got the big green net there, little blue net. Buckets. You can never have enough buckets. If you're a fish keeper, you can never have enough buckets, can you? And then, then we've got like... Four polystyrene boxes. I'm going to uh, separate males from females because what's happened to me, I've learned from a bad experience. What happened to me once was I put a male and a female uh, aggressive cichlid in a box and then uh, when, by the time I got home from fetching them, when I got home, I opened the box and to my horror, yeah, to my horror, the male had killed the female in transit. So I'm not going down that route again. So I, I'm trying to get myself prepared. And also there we've got a, a, water, a water barrel. So I'm going to fill these polystyrene boxes up with the aquarium water. You know, so there's no, uh, so there's no shock of different water parameters. There we go then. We better get started on this big move. Yeah, like I've, I've been organised. Got all the equipment out, which is unlike me. All the gear. And no idea. So that, that's a cocktail, isn't it, for it all to go tits up. Normally I'm disorganised and things go okay. 
This time, I've got all the gear, no idea. Let's get on it. Let's get these fish moved. Job, I'm going to get some clean water out of the aquarium into the poly boxes before I start churning all the, all the debris up from underneath the bog wood and the rocks. So let's get on this one. I'll tell you what, when you're a fish keeper like me, uh, when you're a fish keeper like me, how many gobfuls of mucky old tank water are you had? Mucky old tank water. That's a, that's a, Lincoln, that's a Lincolnshire accent, accent, isn't it? Mucky old tank water. Yeah, so I'm filling this one up, and then I've got a smaller box over there for the female. Ah, look at look at Churchill. How oh, Churchill's keep, uh, keeping an eye on the situation at all. We've even got the cat involved. Oi, spirit! Yep. Got the cat involved as well. Anyway, we'll get this. We'll get these. Get some water in these. I'll get all the uh, boggled out and all the rocks, and we'll uh, film catching the fish. Starting off, I'm going to take about half of the water out, so I'm uh, siphoning it out of this, uh, it's, it's like a small pond hose. And while that's emptying, I'm only going to take about 50% out to start with, while that's emptying, let's have a go at getting some of this bog wood out. It's quite, quite big and bulky, this is. This is absolutely a massive piece of wood. Blooming it. Look at the start. How do I get it out? How do I get it in? Because it's got some uh, bracing, there's some bracing bars at the top of this tank. This is a five foot tank, this piece of bog wood's probably been, it's probably uh, four foot long. This is a lovely piece of wood. There we go, it's coming out this time, I'll drop the damn thing. Watch the light bulbs. Oh, the damn, oh, Rufus! <laughs> Don't you start laughing, woman. Right. Look at that! Look at that for a piece of look at that for a piece of uh, bog wood. That's a lovely piece of wood, isn't it? Mate, I hope there's actually a pleco in here, but I hope it's not stuck to it. Stick it on Paul's love. Right, let's get the, the other two pieces out. There's Rufus down there. Poor old boy. He's going to be very stressed. We'll have you out so, but soon and put him in the uh, put him in the poly box. Right, that's another piece of wood. Let's take this last piece out. Here's a, the last piece. So I've got quite quite a lot of wood in here, and it's ex this is quite expensive to buy. This is bought from uh, the fish store. It's not uh, wood, what driftwood, what I found. Just, let's get it down here and have a look at it. So that, there's the uh, the decor. What's going to go into the new aquarium? Stick it on pause again, love. Now that's stressed them both out, hasn't it? Right, we better get on this. The quicker I do it, the uh, less stress it'll put the fish under. I'll, I'll get this pot out, the spawning pot out now. There's also a little pleco in here, but and I'll get him out, and he can go with them, because he does keep that wood nice and clean. Anyway, let's get this pot out. Right, here goes for the uh, spawning pot. Let's get this out. Yeah, that's a, that's a lovely pot, that is. Do you, know what, do you know what this pot is designed for? I'll tell you what this pot is designed for. It's got a hole in it there. It's meant to screw on the wall and gr grow uh, hanging plants out of it. So this was bought from a garden centre. But I love them. They make ideal spawning pots. Anyway, let's get this substrate out. Let's, let's get over Rufus out then. This, this is a nice big net, so it should be pretty uh, easy to catch him. Well, I'm saying that, I'll just uh, <laughs> go here. We'll do now. Bloody hell. Trying to uh, make it quite stress free. It won't even fit in there. Oh no. Got him. We'll have a quick look at him. He's grown no end. Well, when we put him in a new tank, we'll stick a tape measure on him and make a note of the date so we know how big he's grown. Can you get that in focus, love? There he is. Quick, get him in the poly, poly box. There he goes, in the poly box. Get, get, a clo get closer. 
Yeah, he actually looks orange in the box, don't I? I've always said he, uh, his colours don't show up. Anyway, let's get that female coat. Right, here we go with the female. Where is she? This end. Oh, the neck's a bit big to get in there. And this. In this corner. Come on, just go in. <gasps> there she goes. Right, she, she's mostly mostly white. She's got a bit of red on the fin at the bottom there, look. Yeah, so let's get her in the box and we'll get these lids on quick. Get the lids on quick, come on. That's the male, the female. Right, I'm going to do some uh, gravel. I'm going to do some gravel back in there, get this substrate cleared. Right, what I've decided, what I should have done it from the beginning actually, what I've decided to do is clean the substrate with, look at all the muck going up there, that's most of that, do you know what that is? Most of that's like bits of uh, bog wood, I would you say. can't see it. Can't yet, but oh, it's. Uh, bit. Yeah, most of that bits of bog wood, that would have come off the pleco. So I'm going to carry on siphoning this uh, gravel, hoovering it, before I scoop it out. With, I, I normally scoop it out with a net. So we'll. Uh, I'll, I'll crack on with this. Look at you. Can you see all the dirt, all the debris? Yeah, yeah. All that debris coming from inside the uh, substrate. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll carry on siphoning this and then we'll get the substrate out. Right, I'm getting all the substrate out. I've put all these uh, pebbles in the bucket. We've got the, uh, the uh, gr gravel in this bucket and I'll show you how I get gravel out. No doubt you'll probably have a better method. But this is how I get it out when you, when you still want to have water remaining in the tank. Right, I like to get the uh, gravel out using the net so that you can scoop the substrate out but leave the, uh, obviously leave water in, inside the tank. So I'll just scoop it out like that, let the water run through, pop it in the bucket. Yeah, so that's how I tend to get uh, the substrate out. No, no doubt there's some better methods out there. Be interesting to know... There we go, second one. Be interesting to know how you lot do it. Yes, yeah, so I'll carry on with this. But hey, look, look who's next to me. Tank the Chancho. Hey, Tank, mate. Oh, you could have a, you could have a new neighbour. You could have a new neighbour to look at. Anyway, let's leave Tank alone there. Right, let's, let's get on this, uh, let's get on with this uh, changeover. Right, this is how I get the very last bit out. Just get all this, these last few bits of gravel. But I don't want this sort of gravel mixing up with me white gravel, what I have for the HNCs. And all the last little bits of uh, debris and muck on the uh, the base of the tank. Anyway, I better get on get on with this, I'll be here all day. Right, that's got this clank tank emptied out. No fish, no substrate. Right, let's move on to the HNCs tank now. Right, I think the first job I'll do with the HNCs tank is to get these uh, large rocks out. I, I always hate taking large rocks out. Because you, you always got that fear, what if it slips out of my hands and goes through the bottom pane of glass? And when I get the rocks out, I'll see if I can catch one or two of the fry. Go. Right, here we go. Scary bit. This is a bit I don't like doing. I've got to get... These rocks are quite weighty. And slippery. There we go. Got that one. Loving it. We're having an avalanche. There we go. Now let this some weight in that rock. I've obviously, I'd, I'd hate it to slip out. One more, let's get another one out, then I'll put you back on poles. Which one should we have out this time? This one here. Oh. Right, that's a two-handed job. You gotta use two hands. Because like you said, if one of those slipped out of your hands, I think it would crack the bottom pane. Anyway, I'll stick on pause while I get the rest of these rocks out. Right, I've got all them big rocks out now, so now it's time to get, get the fish out and put them in the poly boxes. So here we go, we'll have uh, Stan the Man. Oh, no, well, we'll get Hilda, that's got, we've got her first. Right, so this is the little female. Little female. Put her in the uh, poly box. Now let's get to Jack. 
the mail. Here we go, let's get in this time. There we go. Got him. Ooh. Right. They always look bigger. Yeah. Let's get get him look. They always look bigger when they're out of the water. He's getting a fair old size, isn't he? Yeah. Right, in the in the, in the uh, box he goes. Well now we need we need some lids on there. Stick her on Paul's love. Right, now I've got all the rocks and that out. I'm gonna see if I can get one of this some the little fries in here. I don't really I don't really need any fry hey chances fry, but I might as well uh, I might as well try to rescue one or two. So I'll just catch a, see if I can capture these. Right, I managed to catch uh, I don't know how many there is. Probably six to eight. I managed to catch six to eight of these fry. And there's one nice big one there, a lot bigger than the rest. He, he possibly could have been from a, a previous spawning. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll just stick these in the little in my fish room and see what happens. Never know, somebody might want want a, a juvenile hatiensis. Anyway, I better crack on. This is taking me ages. Right, I've, I've started to uh, scoop all the. Uh, black and white gravel out. I've got a bowl full. I'm going to tip it in that other tank. I bet, I bet it uh, churns up a load of mess. So let's have a look at me tipping it in the other tank. Go. Right, the first bowl of uh, black and white substrate. I think the black and white substrate really suits the Haitiensis. So anyway, let's get it in here. It's going to churn up some uh, mess, I bet. Here we go. Get it in. Well, that ain't that bad, actually. I've got, uh, I'll have two or three, two or three more bowls. I'll keep it all at this end because I'm going to build the rock structure the other end to get the rocks back in. Yes, yeah, so I'll keep all this substrate this end. Right, I'll, let me c crack on. Right, I'm back to the Haitiensis setup now. So I've just added these, uh, the boulders what came out of the the two twenty. They, these are all in here, so I've tried to arrange them with, uh, the water's very murky and cloudy, I apologise for that, but it, it'll settle in and I'll get it filled up, get the filter running, and in an hour or two it will settle down. So what we've done, I've piled all these, piled all these rocks in here, try to make hiding places in there, and probably in there, try to make hiding places what the female can squeeze into, there it is look, the rock structure. And there's the substrate, this end. I'm going to, now I'm going to spread it all out. Fill the tank up. Get the pump running. Obviously, I've uh, put my uh, tap safe in. Prime. So I'll get, get that in. Get it filled up. Get this uh, substrate spread out. And then we'll get the fish in. Right, it's coming on. But very, very murky, but it'll soon clear. It's coming on nice and quite pleased with how it's turning out. So we're, we've got the tap safe in, we're filling it up. I've got a red hose and a blue hose. Warm water and cold water. The warm water comes from me shower and the cold water is coming from the outside tap. Anyway, this will be filled up in no time. Then I'll get the pump on, get it cleared and we'll get the fish in. Well that's got the tank filled up, I've got the pump running, and I've got the substrate all levelled off. So uh, while that's clearing, what I've got, all I've got left to do now is uh, acclimate, acc acclimate these HNCs. There's the male, female in there. So what, what I plan to do is while this is set, is, is siphon some water out of here into this... Uh, into the polystyrene box and gradually siphon a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more uh, over a case of the next uh, 45 minutes. We'll have them acclimated. So here we go, look, siphon a bit of water into the box. So I'll, I'll just do like a, an inch of water. That's stressing him in here, we'll do it at this end. I'll keep putting a bit, a bit in. And then I'll come back in another five minutes and put a bit more in. Then come back in another five minutes and put a bit more in. And so on and so forth until they've uh, acclimated. So uh, I'll put you on pause and I'll better crack on. 
Right, my next job is to get this tank aquascaped for the uh, red dover. I've got the spawning pot in and I've got the substrate all laid down. My next task is getting this uh, large piece of bog wood, which I showed you before, which is very heavy. I've got to get it in top of the tank, which has got a lot of bracing in there. So I've got to manoeuvre it around the bracing. So here we go. Let's get on it and have a go. Here we go. Oh, I think I've got more room. Yeah, that's going in, that's going in quite nicely, actually. God, it's quite heavy. Here we go. We're going to have tons of micro bubbles on it now. So we're trying to set it up very similar to what we had in the, in the other one. We had it covering the entrance to the pot. I've got to leave a small hole in the pot. Yeah, that's that one piece of wood. Let's pause it, love, while I pick another piece up. Right, so we've got two more pieces here. So let's get these in. I'll just rest that one there for the time being. We'll get this one in. Oh, ooh, lovely neck. So I might uh, alter it a bit as we go along, but this is all right for the time being, I think. Yes, yeah, so they'll be able to get underneath that. And the last final piece. Now, do I put it on top of that piece? Let's have a look. Would I put it on top of that piece? Probably not. I can't see from up here. Or shall I put it at the end here? Well, there's a lot of glare. Yeah, so uh, let me just have a quick look at that. There aren't many hiding places, really, is there? I'm going to put it at the other end, near the pot. Put it on poles. Right, I think I'll put this piece on top of there, hoping that the female will get, I'll be able to hide underneath there. Anyway, it's not a permanent thing. If I don't like it, I can always alter it. So at the same time as doing this, I'm also filling up. And now we've we'll just got to put some of these, uh, we'll get, just put some of these rocks in. We'll just get some of these in. I'll just put these random and I'll probably uh, rearrange them. Yeah, ran random rocks. And then I've got the small ones. I've got, I've got this bucket full of small pebbles. They'll be going in anyway. I'll, I'll put you on pause and show you when I get them in. Right, he's been acclimating for like 40 minutes or so, so I'm going to take him out and we're going to have him in the tank. But I'm quite interested to know what sort of size he is. I know he's not a monster like JCB was, but it'd be interesting to know. I can, and then I'll have a date and a size, so we'll see how fast he grows. So I'll whip him out as quickly as I can, put a tape measure in on him and put him in. So here we go. Come on, uh, Stan. Poor old Stan, he's a bit stressful day. He's not, he's not struggling much. So we'll have a tape. We'll have a tape measure on him. So like, oh, he's only, he's only twelve inches. I thought he's probably a little bit bigger than that. He's a, he's a good. What well, is a twelve incher? So let's let's get him in the tank. Here we go, love. Come on, Jack. I mean, Stan. There's your new home, mate. I'll just get the female. You can just carry on, Phil. I'll just get the female. I'm not too fussed about. Measuring the female. There's the female. She's tiny. Plop her in. Now that's going to that's going to take them a while to settle. Anyway, uh, all, all I need to do is top the tank up to the top then, and then this tank's finished. So I'll go and finish the uh, I'll go and finish the red dovey tank, and we'll come back to this. Maybe maybe I'm going to give them a day. I'll come back to them tomorrow when they've settled. Right, that's the two 220 gallon, six and a half feet tank. It's all it's all uh, finished now, full of water. I've had, I've had the uh, tap safe in it, oh, and I've accur acclimated the uh, red morphed over. So all that's left to do now is uh, put them in the uh, tank. So I've tried to like replicate the uh, tank how it was, but look at all these micro bubbles. Look at those, look thousands of them, but they'll go. So let's get this fish caught, we'll get it in the tank, and then uh, 
Yeah, I'll take some footage when they've settled. Yeah, same again. I'm going to take this opportunity so when I whip him out just to get the tape measure on him, just to, just to so I know at the time and the date how big he was. So uh, there we go. Let's get him out. Keep close, love. So look how orange he looks here. Here, like there we go on the on the floor. See what how's what size he is. He's ten, he's only ten inches. I say he's about ten inches. So let, let let's whip him in. Wait a minute. I'll have to do it with my hands. Let's whip him in. Go on then, Rupert. There he goes. Hiding. Right, I'll just stick it on pause, love. I'll get the female. Well, there's the female. She's got red. She's got red on her uh, anal fin, but apart from that, it's nearly all white. Let's get her in. Right, she's in. Right, well, uh, I'll, I'll pause this and I'll come back to them later. Right, we're back with the HNCs now. It's been about one and a half days, and uh, I, I think things have gone really, really well. She, she's got a lot blacker than what she was. Uh, uh, pre on the pre bit earlier on in the in the other tank, uh, the uh, rock structures that's looking okay, and there's that stand the man. So I'm quite happy the way it's gone. Look, she, look, I thought they're even looking. Uh, she's even looking like she's getting probably getting ready for a spawning. Anyway, I'm so happy the way it's gone. But uh, I better not go on too long with these because this video is going on miles too long. So well, let's have a look at Rufus the Red Wolf, and then we've got to we've got to wrap this one all. So same with this tank, like like it's uh, one and a half days later, and I'm very 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 happy with it. Uh, like at first sight, sight it just looks like his old tank basically, but it's a lot 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 bigger. We got all the. Uh, Cobbles and river rocks. Spawning pot nearly the same as last time. And there's Rufus. But it still isn't filming properly. Hey, mate. It's, it's, well, look, he's settled in. He's going loopy. And the female's under there. Anyway, we'll do a, I'll do a proper update on these. Because this video is going on far, far, far too long. He keeps ramming up the glass. So he's settled in already. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Until next time, ta -ra!